<laughs> you happy now? Is that all right? We on? Hey, we're on. We're on. This this is live now. We've we've moved. Swap sides. That's better. Because the microphone is going that way. Then let's face that up a bit. That's better. You're touching chest. <laughs> Do it that way. <laughs> so we oh in Jenna rapid Honda. Yeah. New that ride came that, that came around quick, didn't it? Super Sport for Owen Jenner, three-time British champion. It's been a long time coming for me, isn't it? I really? think so. Um, this is your chance, dude. Yeah, I've got no excuse now, which I'm quite excited for. It's finally happening. Finally. Um, yeah, excited. They, they came around real quick. Real quick. In what way? From, uh, well, we just kind of... Can I swear on this or not? If you have to. I was shitting myself. I no, wouldn't be able to get a ride. I was just thought, I'm not going to be able to... What's going on? No, nothing even come up. And the one You've thing had that... that nearly every year, though. Yeah. That's been a, your career has been one of the most difficult. Even winning every, the championship every that you had, everything comes late. You've never had it easy. It's always been a difficult winter, and then it's come through. But now it's come through at the start of the winter. So tell us how the Rapid Honda Super Sport ride came about, <laughs> and congratulations. Yeah, it's well. I was doing all the uh, grid photos as I was just I was walking down with my trophy, my helmet, thinking, "Oh, this is brilliant." He just middle of the middle of pit lane just comes up and says, uh, "Do you want to next year?" Uh, Matt, this is. So, what? What? Yeah, yeah. Okay. What? Which bike? Um, said, sir, super bike. I went, whoa, whoa. Yes, it's like the devil on each shoulder, isn't there? Going, yeah. oh, it's a super bike. It's a super bike. Just do it. Don't, and then the you're other one ready. saying, "Yes, you are." No, you're not. <laughs> um, so, yeah, went back, said, "No, don't want to do super sport. Want to win super sport. Want to essentially beat consistently a couple of times, stable for and curry. That's what I want to do. And prove, kind of get that six under stepping point and go right. I've done that to the point where it's like that's the best it's done in the UK. And then go right. Then make that step." And then he came back and said, do you want to do Sock 1000? <laughs> I went, no, I want to do Super Sport. And he rang me back a couple of days later and said, yeah, all right, let's do it. And ever since then, it's been flat out. And he, uh, he said, do you like Harley McCabe? I went, yeah, nice kid. So I've got a teammate as well. That's cool. Yeah. Harley's really a nice. good kid. We, really we like know him, him well on the podcast. Super little talent. Fast. And sweat, yeah. Just, again, he, you'll see a lot of yourself in him taking that step up and making yeah. that difference is just something that, that you've got a nice, young, fast teammate on you that you can see yourself yeah. in, but this is your next step now. I don't, and you don't get led astray. I can <laughs> keep him in a... Because it's very easy to uh, get... How do I say it? Led astray? Like I did. You took the words right out of my mouth. Yeah, I did, I did get led astray. <laughs> but you brought yourself back from it. Learn. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So, but this is the important thing. You've been in the paddock. You've had a good time. Sometimes you've had too much of a good time. And the racing's come second. Yeah. You're one of the brightest characters in the paddock. And it's so important that we yeah. keep you in there. And watch you grow as a rider. So from Super Sport 300 through GP2, yeah. through Stock 6. Do you know what I mean? It, the, the progression highest, is there. And then the highest Super Sport all of a sudden. And now the high, Where? Well, where did it all happen? <laughs> Where's, why me? A few years ago, I was doing Benzy. A few years ago, you were doing motocross and nobody heard doing, of you. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. And now all of a sudden, yeah, I wasn't. I wasn't that good at motocross. I was all right. I wasn't that good. You kept breaking yourself, Twiglet, didn't I you? Did, yeah. <laughs> yeah. It's I'm missing. Never I'm easy. still doing motocross every week though, and I'm not getting broken right. yet. Oh, that's all right. Yeah, you're not being as quite as wood, competitive. Need wood, need wood. Yeah, good, quick, good, good, good. That'll do. Just give it there. Um, one thing that I still think is the right path, rightly or wrongly, I still think that super sport yeah. is the right step into BSP 100%. rather than super stock. Would you agree? Hundred percent. I, w I wouldn't. I would have I'd rather not road than done stock thousand. Just for well, I don't see the point in learning electronics and learning. It's going to be learn essentially, and then jumping on the bike the next year and going right. You're going to rip that away from me, and you got to relearn how to ride a thousand again. I don't see the point in it. Where the last five BSP champions? All cut their teeth in super sport. Did, didn't they? Yeah. Kyle did super sport. Brad did yeah. super sport. Taz did super I'll say, sport. You see Brooks, the name. he started in super sport. Oh, There's only Tommy, really, that hasn't. So four out of five. 
Tommy just feels like he's been in Superbike since day since, one. Yeah. <laughs> he's just, just appeared. He's, he just appeared in Superbike yeah. and that was it. He did the R6 Cup, didn't he? That's Before it. you were born. I was chatting to, funny, I was chatting to Luke Hedger about this earlier. In fact, he nearly was before you were born as well. Yeah, Sorry, let's carry on. Was. Um, <laughs> Sorry, Tommy. <laughs> I'll, I'll rub that in the soul in the room. I'll go and see him, see him later this week. Um, Luke Hedger, and he's saying all the mate, because that was 2012, 2013, he must have been in it. Hedger, Super Sport. Yeah. He's saying the names that were in it then. It was Glenn and people like that. Glenn was in it then. Glenn, Kyle. It's a few names. A few names yeah. that I'll do like. Yeah. Hornsey, Gowland. Graham Gowland, we were talking about really, him the other day. Yeah. But all the other names. Lewis. Um, came from Super Sport. That's now the Jack, Jack Kennedy. All of them. All of them. All of them. So, yeah, for me, it's absolutely the right step. Stockdale's great, but it still only holds national status as well. Yes. It's not a British championship. Whereas you go British Talent Cup, British Super Sport, British yeah. Superbike, that's the path. And to go on the Super Sport first, how much are you looking forward to riding the Honda and getting on a middleweight bike now and proving yourself again? Uh, look, I can did it did it last year, a rookie year, a couple of kind of shining moments where I thought, I have it, I, I'm, actually, I'm having a right dig at the moment, so I can do this. Kramer really struggled in places. In some places, it was frustrating because it was such a fun bike when it decided when it decided it was going to work for me. Yeah. We went to the first brands and it didn't work. We were like, you know, I was like 16th, 17th. I was like, I can't understand. And he went there in the second one. I think we had two clicks different on something. Yeah. Perfect. Put it straight in the window. Perfect. I was like, huh? So riding the GP2 this year, that was the first time you'd ridden a prototype yeah. stiff chassis, wasn't it? Because you come it. production, but suited your style beautifully. Loved it. Well, I've, got, I've just been really aggressive with it and it just did it back on me. I loved it. It did. <laughs> Don't do that on Honda. It bit back at yeah. place at times. Didn't crash it all year, but it bit back. Um, but learning what that did and how that did things, how it reacted, it, it exaggerated a lot of a lot of stuff. Whereas okay. it come from the R6, it didn't do that as much. It kind of just no. gla glassed over, you know what I mean? In GP2, if you did something wrong, you got to know about it. So Different riding now, style completely, isn't it? I hopefully know if I get on that CBR, stuff I've learned on that and... Essentially, I learned how much I could take the piss out of a front tire on that Kramer. <laughs> I didn't realise how badly you could. I had that thing all sorts of crossed up at times. And it was all right. That's not like you. No. Well, I, I wouldn't be like crossed up. Really? <laughs> so you, you seem to be, you, you definitely maturing as a rider. There's no question of that. The success that you've had over the last four seasons has been testament to you, to the family, and the opportunities that you've taken because you've had to take them. Yeah. You're not coming with a bucket full of money. You're just coming with the talent and going, talent this and going, is what right. I can do. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> Let me ride your yeah. bike. Let me do this. And that, to have that tenacity to keep going when it, I guess a couple of seasons ago, it would have been easier to go, I'm yeah. done. Even, yeah, probably, almost even <laughs> probably last winter yeah. before the Kramer job came up. I think it was until like January and there was just nothing coming up. No. It was just like, it's okay. Sob this, it's got to work. This is going to be a storm Stacy and start delivering cheese. Yeah. And do that. But it's not. You've got the opportunity now. Yeah. Matt and the guys at Rapid Honda have seen the talent. They know what it is. There's a stepping stone there to go one year Super Sport, one year Superbike, yeah. or Pathway, whichever they decide at that point what's available. But there's definitely a clear path with Dave Hewson, yeah. with Boasty, with Matt. They're a good team. They know what it's about. And the bikes that they put out are spot on. Yeah. That's why I came into it happy. There's nothing that made me go... Uh, there's a couple of other rides like the last one sort of, that came up after the Kramer yeah. in like March I was like well, I don't know there's still a few things there kind of make your nose go a bit everything is exactly no cut corn no corners cut and just I was like ha, finally this and, is uh, what you've been working for yeah he just said one thing to him uh, I think on the phone at the end of the first phone call uh, he didn't seem that keen until and so I said, look, if you give me a bike, I'll win your championship. Just give me the right bike and I'll win your championship. And you could kind of, you could hear him having a little giggle behind the phone. And I was like, you know. I know that's just excited him. <laughs> I mean, it's a, it's, it's, it's a bold statement. And you're not shy of a bold statement. No. no. When depends on what Jack decides to do. I think he's got a decision to make at the end yeah. of the month, whether he goes super bike or stays super yeah. sport. That's up to him what he decides best for his career. Yeah. If he goes super bike... 
does that then open the door for a little bit more help from Honda because they're only going to be running Dean yeah. in one team? But then if they want to look to the future, yeah, here's the future. So I'm hoping if he does, obviously if Jack does go up, I'm actually a little bit disappointed because I kind of want him to stay. So That's your benchmark as champion. Benchmark, and then I got I can learn off him. And also, if I beat him, it's like <laughs> a couple of middle finger up. Not a couple of middle fingers up, but yeah, just I'll I beat you. It's a tip, I mean. of, a tip of the hat. Six, there you go, Jack. Six-time British champion, Sue Sport, and I beat you on the same bike. That's that's what I want to do. It's motivation uh, there, yeah. isn't it? But then you got Ben Curry on the Ducati. You've got Luke Stapleford, Stapleford on the Triumph. Yeah. You've got Eugene McManus on the Ducati. Columbia. And you've got Columbia on the, the be Ducati quick. as well. He is going to be quick. Very. That quick that he is yeah. super talented. I mean, yeah. I mean, you're you're all right, but he's like really yeah. good. Yeah, he is. I can't even <laughs> deny it. I've seen the stuff he's doing in Twins and I went, hey, he's really good. And that's the thing when you can see what other riders are doing and how they yeah. ride and, and how they do it, you, you suddenly go like, yeah, okay, he's decent. Yeah. This, this is the level. He's all nice and smooth and everything's <laughs> flowing. I'm just going, oh, I'm going to have a dig and attack it and see what happens. So I wonder where I put my black paste there. I just had a, had a heart palpitation. I'd left the, uh, the the mic box around the corner. So when do you get a chance to ride the bike? What's the testing process? What does winter look like for, for Owen Jen and now? At the moment, we uh, they're selling the super bike and the stock thousand they've got. Um, then as, one, as soon as one of them sells, we'll go and get 600. Whether that be, we wait till... February or we get one. Well, you know, I ain't that fast. It's fine. I didn't. I didn't do Spain last winter. I don't have to do it again if I don't have to. I'm just going out and wing it the first round. But that's unusual for you. Hopefully, I'm think. I know. I know. There's a Honda test in a, in and around end of Feb. I think yeah. start of March. So hopefully we get on that. If not, no biggie. Was it? Are the team not doing Superbike Super Stock next year? Now Are they just putting everything into the Super Sport project. Everything. That must give you a huge amount of confidence that it's yeah. not diluted by looking at a super bike rider. It's literally yourself and Harley. Harley. Yeah. That's it. It's all all in on Sim Sport. Where when they when they said at first, I thought how he, how he approached. I went, oh, is he uh, keeping Franco? And it instantly told me, oh yeah, we're not keeping Franco. And I was like, ah, okay, I see. So. Said if I can convince him to go all efforts in Super Sport, this will be the one. This will like this will be it. And he did. I was like, oh my god, yeah, this is odd. one year deal, one year one with year. an option or one year at the moment. Okay. I say it openly. I want to go into Super Bikes with a team that's got experience, loads of experience, because I'm going into into. I can't. I don't want to go into Super Sport and essentially not the team learn because they've done it for a year. Yeah. But I'd want to go in somewhere like Hawk have been doing it for years, etc. Taz, they've all, whereas they've been, they've done it for a year and they knew it was kind of an early jump them. Yeah. Which that's, but I if think. if the opportunity came, you wouldn't turn it down. Exactly. So, because yeah. they know how to do, they put a good yeah. bike out. It's a point scoring exactly. team. Yeah. In he finished the in the top 10 at Brands. Team. Exactly. Yeah. I mean. So the, the yeah. pedigree is there. And if you can move on together and grow together, that continuity exactly. is something you've not had. Yeah. So to grow with a team. Yeah. In, even if you did go do one year super bike with yeah. them, somebody might take you on, or you start finishing top ten. And you do three years with them. Yeah, it's that there are Be worse the teams. Been the best super bike team they've had. I mean, they start. <laughs> there are worse teams to ride yeah. for. Exactly. So, so to, in your position at this point now, uh, I think you're in the best place you've ever been. Yeah, I'm happy about it. So, uh, I didn't speak to about. It. I said I would like to think about super bikes after it. Yeah. That is. Yes, I want to win Super Sport and I want to do this, but I'm kind of looking at my long. I want to, I want to get World Super Sport. I'll go first. That's what I want to do. Okay. Or Super Bikes. I want to do then Jake. Essentially, Jake Dixon route. Yeah, yeah. Well, I'd like to give that a go. I'd like to give Moto Two a go. As it... Kramer's giving you the taste. Excited for it. me, yeah. <laughs> but it's going to be so different, isn't it? It's going to be really different. The great thing that, that I'm really proud of you about is when the opportunity came up to ride the superbike, you said no. No, not yet. It was just such a mature thing to do where some people... Can you imagine gone, you asked me that a year bike. ago? No. <laughs> asked me a year ago. Superbikes, yeah, all right. Yeah, all right. Cool. anything. Whatever you want me to do. Yeah, I'll ride it. It's fine. And then you would probably be injured for most of the season. And But now to do one more season, I think, hat off to you. Yeah, it's absolutely the right thing to do. Glad, uh, thinking back on it, I did go, oh, am I going to regret not doing super bikes at the chance? No. I don't think so. 
I don't but I know nothing. I, I just do this and I, I know a little bit about the sport. Oh, I think it's exactly yeah. the right thing for you at your stage in your career now. It's the perfect place to do it. You're not the only person that said that, which is uh, <coughs> it's confident. But how do you the say right it? Hundred percent confidence in It's way. reassuring, isn't yeah, it? Reassuring. That you've done the right thing. Yeah. And it, absolutely, one hundred percent. Like we both, Jennifer and I, wish you all the best for next season. We'll catch up during the season. Yeah. We'll sit down and have a chat. See how you're getting on. You don't want to listen to my stories. Don't but, want to. Oh uh, no. Well, you, you, you can hear my stories when I when I was uh, getting you, distracted. Only the ones that you can tell. Yeah. <laughs> There are too many that you can't tell. <laughs> it's probably yeah. a good place to end it. Yeah. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, it's Owen Jenner. And that is it. Thanks, man. Thank you.